Okay, we are continuing with uh, 6.3 of Savage Book C++, and we are revisiting this uh, get uh, int or get input function that has example in your book. And uh, we're gonna talk a little more about it. I did talk about it in the previous uh, lecture or video. Uh, so just go over it one more time. So here we are checking for lowercase and uppercase y. So again, the question is, how do we arrange this to work best for the user? The user uh, is gonna be our main concern and we wanna make it easier for them to work. Again, this is just example to practice on some of these things. So we are asking the user for yes and no answer, but we are gonna be reading only the first character of it. And then we're gonna use the new line to get rid of the rest of the characters. And then we're gonna check to see if it's Y, if it's not Y, and it's not lowercase y. Remember, if we are using not, the not is gonna affect our or and and. So I could potentially have while and put a not right here. This would be or. And if I apply that not inside, meaning that I put the not here, then my or is gonna to change to and. So that's basically what we're doing in the loop to checking that. So the question is why not use N and N? So we are asking the user, do you, is this a correct number? The first thing that comes to uh, our head is the correct thing is if the user says no, then we're gonna ask it again. So is this a correct number? No, let's try it again. Why are we not using N and we are using Y? Think for a second that Y in a set of N, which is natural thing, we are asking the user, is this a correct number? And if they say no, we wanna continue. So why do we choose to check for not Y in a set of N? So one of the reason is the user have the possibility of mistyping. So in a set of no, they could potentially put bold because they just mistype it. So if that's happened, and I'm just checking for N and N, and B is not N, it's not gonna continue. It's not gonna go through the loop again. It's gonna terminate. If I'm just looking for N and the user doesn't put or misspell it, it's gonna be that. Now, if I reverse it, and I'm gonna be checking for the Y, then every misspelling is gonna consider no, and we're gonna continue. So if you don't tell me yes, I'm gonna continue. It doesn't matter what you tell me, I'm gonna continue. So let's think about this, and then we, continue in the next lecture.